I've got a, another experiment to show you. Um, this is the same setup before, 5 by 5 timer, uh, this meter reading frequency, this meter reading voltage. Now I have uh, two uh, tank circuits, um, and they are connected such that the top part of the cable is wired over to the bottom of the next cable. I tried this thing all different ways to see how I could maximize the voltage. Um, on the other side of the uh, tank, I'm wiring over to a bridge rectifier so that the AC and uh, and then um, this wire also going over to the bridge rectifier. Um, so the black and the yellow come into the AC side of the bridge rectifier and then um, this yellow is the positive and this green is the negative and they're coming over to this meter. So this meter is going to measure DC voltage from that bridge rectifier and um, I replaced my big old solenoids with relays um, thinking or just wanting to experiment with a smaller um, solenoid. These are 12 volt relays and uh, I've uh, wired them together different ways. This seems to work the best. I'm going I'm to take this magnet and put it on top of these relays. Okay, here we have the magnets on top of the relay. Uh, when there's when the relays are energized, they're going to um, fight the magnetic pull. Um, and uh, the uh, because there's um, a pulse coming to the relay, it will um, try to pull the uh, lever down. But then uh, when the pulse goes away, uh, there's back EMF, uh, which will contribute to the uh, metal bar in there uh, snapping the other direction. Um, anyway, let's turn it on and see what happens. So remember this is the frequency and this is the voltage. Got kind of a glare here. Let me come at this angle. You can hear the uh, audio tone uh, coming out of the relays. I'm going to adjust the frequency now. Starting to approach that 2 kilohertz range. I'm adjusting with a potentiometer over here. Okay, um, that is essentially the frequency I was shooting for. Uh, actually, I was shooting for a 2082. If I go higher, the voltage is dropping away. So I'll try to go back down the fine adjustment on there. Okay, right around there. Interesting. So, um, in terms of voltage, uh, having um, two cylinders like this uh, allows you to sort of voltage add. If you, uh, depending on the windings, now I uh, one, this one I wound, wound um, uh, trying to remember. This one is counter clock. Uh, this one is counterclockwise, and this one is wound clockwise. Um, but if you had wound them the same, um, you could probably hook up to the opposite side. So uh, I also earlier in the day measured current and I was getting the same amount of current. Um, but there are many combinations of how to hook these two together so uh, I'm still sort of trying to resolve which is the best combination to uh, and you can judge it by uh, voltage or you could judge it by current. It's interesting though that at this frequency or 2082 it seems to have the highest voltage and that is the okay there we go that is the um, earth's field 
NMR frequency that I was shooting for. I'm also trying to orient this uh, north-south. Okay, uh, wow, I think I've found something here. Um, I've changed the orientation now so that the canisters are lined up north-south. So this is the northern direction. My finger is pointing north. And now I have the canisters lined up this way with the magnets oriented, the magnet oriented this way. And, we, and I didn't change anything else, I just kind of rotated this whole setup and we will see what happens. Whoops. 3.9 volts. Fascinating.